Hello guys, I am Arvind and welcome to this session. And in this session, we are going to discuss bar plot in Matplotlib. So let's get started. Bar plots are used to display values associated with categorical data. The bar plots can be plotted horizontally or vertically. A bar plot describes the comparisons between the discrete categories. So now guys let's go ahead and we'll discuss the syntax of this bar plot function. Guys we use this bar function to create bar plot and this bar function requires few parameters and that are x, height, width, bottom and align. Now guys let's go ahead and we'll discuss these parameters one by one. X represents the sequence of scalars representing the X coordinates of the bars and height represents the scalar or sequence of scalars representing the heights of the bars and width can be scalar or array it is optional and by default the width of bar is 0 0.8 now guys let's go ahead the bottom can be scalar or array it is also optional the default value is none now the last parameter is align and the align value can be center or edge and it is also optional and the default value is center. Now guys let me open up the Jupyter notebook where I will show you an example of bar plot. Guys now we are going to create bar plot here. So first of all we will import matplotlib pyplot as plt and now I am going to use plt dot bar function but guys I am going to use only two parameters and I am not going to use any optional parameters here so let's declare those parameters so first of all I am using x here and now I am using y here for the height Now guys I am passing x comma y in this plt dot bar function and now I am using title here let's add x label and y label Now guys I am using plt.show function. Now if I run this script we will get plot like this. Guys we can also use labels and legend here. So let's add labels and legend. Sorry. So the label is label 1. Now I am using legend here. Now guys if I run this script you will get this bar plot like this. Now guys I am going to create a bar chart for students and their marks. So let's add another cell. So I am making a list for students. So this is the first student A, B, now C, so this is the list for students. Now I am going to make a list for marks.
guys i am also adding a label here let's say these students are from the computer science branch now i am going to add title x label y label and legend let's say title is result x label is students y label is let's say marks obtained and here i am also using legend now i am using show function here now guys if i run this script we will get a bar plot like this where these are the students and these are the marks obtained and this is the bar plot result here so i hope it is clear to you now moving forward guys the next topic is horizontal bar plot so we can show the exact same chart horizontally using plt.barh function so now let me open up the jupyter notebook so now guys we are going to create this bar chart horizontally so now let's use this function bar h instead of bar so guys now if i run this script we will get this bar chart like this so i hope it is clear to you now guys we are going to create a bar chart for the students of computer science and mechanical and their obtained marks so let's make some changes in this script so let's first add the list for cs students so this is the list for cs students now i am going to create a list for mechanical students so let's create it i am going to use in upper case so this is better now now i'm going to run this cell now uh, add the marks for cs and mechanical so let's change it to marks 1 sorry and marks 2 for mechanical so let's say uh, 40 55 65 and let's say 85 so these are the marks for cs and uh, mechanical now guys i am going to remove h from this bar h and now i am going to copy this bar function and now paste it here now guys students are from cs and these are the marks one level is okay now students are mechanical from mechanical sorry and marks two mechanical now guys if i run this script we will get the bar chart like this so i hope it is clear to you and thank you so much guys for watching this video just in case you liked it Do not forget to like and subscribe. I will see you then in the next video.